All right, we're going to go on with uh, Chapter 8, Conservation of Energy. And uh, we're going to talk about, I believe we've talked in the past about isolated systems and non-isolated systems. Isolated systems are where uh, all the energy transfer takes place within the system. If uh, energy gets transferred out of the system, then it's non-isolated. It might be a difficult concept at the beginning, but... Uh, uh, you should get used to it after discussing it uh, for a while. So uh, we're going to investigate ways that energy transfers out of a system uh, or, or gets transferred into a system. Uh, so, uh, and we're also going to learn about the conservation of energy. If you have an, uh, an isolated system, the, the conservation um, uh, energy is always conserved. Actually, uh, energy is conserved in a non-isolated non system, but you end up with a transfer of energy out to the environment. So the conservation of energy principle is uh, true in either case. Uh, so let's look at a definition. In a non-isolated system, energy crosses the boundary of the system during some time interval due to interaction with the environment. So when you have a non-isolated system, there's a transfer of energy uh, across a boundary. So if you, if you push on a book, um, energy is transferred to the, to the block by work. You push on it, you're, you're uh, uh, transferring energy to it. So that, that's work, that's a, a W. Um, you can have uh, energy leaves, uh, the radio formed by the speaker um, by mechanical waves. So NW is mechanical waves, sound. Uh, sound is mechanical waves and energy can leave uh, a system can be transferred to by mechanical wave um, energy transfers to the uh, to the handle of the spoon by heat uh, heat is designated as Q um, Q is heat um, you put in you put heat into a system you've added some Q all right uh, energy enters the automobile automobile gas tank by matter transfer. That's MT, matter transfer. In other words, you're putting chemicals into the gas tank that will later be combusted and formed into energy to make your automobile run. Um, and energy transfer, energy, the hairdryer by electrical transmission, you're changing the, uh, you're, you're sending electrical energy into the coils to generate heat. So by electrical transmission, you're, uh, uh, giving uh, uh, energy to the system, transferring energy to the system. And then energy leaves the light bulb by electromagnetic radiation. Light is electromagnetic radiation. Um, so these are, these are the energy transfer, transfer systems that uh, we're going to uh, discuss. Energy is always conserved. Um, so the uh, change in energy of the system is equal to the sum of all the transfer methods. Um, if that, if the, uh, if the sum of the T equals to zero, then you have an isolated system and a non-isolated system that sum of the T will equal some value. So on the, uh, one side, we have the, um, change in kinetic energy, delta K plus the change in potential energy, delta U plus the change in internal energy. Delta E internal, that's equal to work uh, plus heat plus uh, 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 mechanical wave. The uh, T is transfer of mechanical wave plus T of matter transfer plus T of electrical transfer and plus T of electromagnetic radiation. Now you, you probably won't have all of these in one incident, incident but these are all ways that uh, energy uh, can be transferred and energy is always conserved. The energy on one side of the equation will equal the energy or the change in energy on one side of the equation will always equal the change in energy on the other side. If the only change in the system is speed or one or more components, then the work kinetic energy theorem is equal to delta K equals to the work. Okay, let's consider a block sliding over a horizontal surface. Um, with friction. Ignore any sound the slide 
the sliding might make. That would be um, energy transfer by mechanical wave. So ignore that. If the system is the block, this system is isolated, non-isolated, or impossible to determine. Well, because we're looking only at the block and there is friction, you're, as, as you push, you're doing work, there is friction, the block is gonna heat up. Uh, but heat is always also being transferred to the, uh, the surface that it's sliding over, so it's non-isolated. Oops, wrong button. So it's non-isolated. So if you consider just a block, energy is being transferred to the surface, so that's non-isolated. Okay, consider a block sliding over a horizontal surface with friction. Ignore any sound the sliding might make. If the system is the surface, this system is isolated, non-isolated, or impossible to determine. Well, you're not sliding the surface, you're sliding the block. So you're, you, that's external to the surface. So again, you're gonna warm up the surface, but you're also gonna warm up the block. So that's external to the system. So it, again, is not isolated. Um, now, let's look at this third one and think about it. Consider a block sliding over a horizontal surface with friction. Ignore any sound the sliding might make. If the system is the block and the surface, this system is what would be the logical one. It's isolated because everything is, everything is um, internal. You have the block. If there's an increase of heat uh, to the block, that's internal. And increase of uh, heat to the surface, that's, uh, that's uh, internal to the system. So this is an isolated system. And I think, uh, let's see. So here we have, um, I got to slide down here. Um, we have uh, this gray box is the system boundary. Uh, the change in, to in the total amount of energy in the system is equal to the amount of energy that crosses the boundary of the system. So look at all the ways that the, you can cross the boundary uh, by work. But, you know, an external agent does work on the system uh, or the system actually uh, causes work to be done to the outside environment. You can have heat going in or out. You can heat up a system, but it can also give off its heat into the environment. You have mechanical waves. Um, you have matter transfer, uh, adding fuel to the system or uh, expelling uh, fuel. You have electrical transmission and you have electromagnetic radiation. Now, those are the boundaries. That's the boundary. That's one side of the equal sign. Look, at, look inside the gray box. What do you have? You have kinetic energy, potential energy, and internal energy. Those are all inside the, the system. So you're, if the speed of the system changes or the potential energy, remember potential energy is the, the energy of position. If the position changes, or if the internal energy changes, if it gains heat, all of those are internal to the system. The others are external. So the, uh, the change in energy to the system inside the gray box, inside the gray box, is equal to the sum of all the transfer methods. Uh, so delta K, change in kinetic energy, plus change in uh, potential energy, plus uh, change in internal energy is equal to work, um, uh, plus heat, plus transfer by uh, mechanical wave, plus transfer by matter transfer, uh, plus uh, transfer by uh, e electric transmission or um, transfer by electromagnetic radiation. Um, okay, let's, uh, we'll stop there and we'll start with isolated system um, in the next, uh, the next lecture.